Welcome back to Resin Me Up, or welcome if this is your first time coming to my channel. Tonight, um, I have a big announcement to make. Um, I was contacted, and I know this is going to come to a shock to most of my channel members, but um, or my subscribers, because I've been such a loyal, loyal Let's Resin user for eight years, but I was contacted by another company asking me if I would like to try some of their product, and <clears throat> I have no problem trying other people's products because, you know, you just never know it might be a great addition to what you're using and and also you have to consider if you can't get your hands on one product you might be able to get your hands on the other product so I don't have a problem trying you know other things so with that being said the company's name is Astoyo and they um, have asked me to be an affiliate so what that means for you is that um, they have given me a discount link. So I will put that in my description box. And if anyone is interested in ordering their products, uh, you will get a 10% discount on whatever you order. So I will put that link in my description. So if you're interested in that, um, they sent me their handy dandy little mixer and <clears throat> they sent me their resin. So according to what I'm seeing here, this doesn't look like it's much different than um, Let's Resin. Um, they're, it's a one-to-one -one mix and their working time is 40 minutes, curing time 24 hours, um, high gloss, no VOCs and low odor, resists yellowing, self-leveling, mold friendly. Um, um, you start for three minutes. Got to make sure you measure it properly, one to one. It does self-eliminate air bubbles. Um, you can eliminate air bubbles by gently blowing on the surface. A heat gun or blowtorch, low heat can be used to remove any remaining. Um, under normal conditions, the resin should dry after eight hours and fully cure after 24. And then the number of resin layers, room temperature, humidity, and altitude will affect curing time. Um, allow your project to cure in a dust-free room. You can cover your piece. And this is battery operated. It is not rechargeable. It takes four AAA batteries. So, with that being said, we are going to get down and dirty and use this product. Now, I am going to test it out in my Let's Resin mixer because I'm going to mix a large quantity. So, here's an idea popped into my head today. Do you guys remember when I told you I had tons and tons of hearts that were made a long time ago? Well, just to show you the volume or the amount of hearts that I have, here are two containers. So here's my thought. I thought I would make a tray and I would layer two layers to make it like a 3D type effect 
So the first layer, I mean, if I can, I may not be able to, but I'm going to try. Um, you know, the first layer, go in with some of these, you know, just randomly, you know, place. I'm going to try to use as many of these flat ones as I can, not necessarily these big puffy ones, because I have so many, and I may have to go through these and pull out some of these. But, I mean, I've got so many, you know, just go in here and make a, you know, make a design with a lot of these and on the first layer, let that uh, cure, put a thin layer and then, um, you know, another layer. Because what am I going to do with all these? Seriously, you know, so I thought this would be a good way to get rid of some of these and it's Valentine-ish, right? So that's my thought process on this. So I've got a billion of these, so I thought I would just go through here and put some of these down. I don't want them to be too high because I want to be able to get, you know, a layer of resin in there, a thin layer. So just, you know, going in there and putting some of these in here, some colorful ones that I've made. And I'll use a bunch of tiny ones too, you know. But I thought that would be kind of fun. Don't you think it would be fun to use some of these? I mean, I have a lot. So why not, right? Got a bunch of different colors. Different colors, different sizes. And then I have a whole bunch of little ones. all kinds of different ones and I haven't even broke into that one yet so I don't even know that one goes that way. so I'll pick out some of the prettier ones and then I'll fill it in with a lot of these you know these littler ones So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to go through all of these and pick out what I think would be good for a top layer or for the first layer and then I'll mix up some resin and we'll get that poured in there. And I don't know, maybe there, ain't, there aren't many in here because these might all be big puppy hearts. Because, you know, when Julie Cuts came out with her Puffy Heart mold, I made a boatload of those. And those, I think, are going to be too... Yeah, those are going to come right even with that. So that may not be a good idea. But I've got plenty of the other ones. So, yeah, those are all Puffy Hearts. Okay. So let me put you on pause, get a design laid out here, and then I will come back with some resin and we'll pour some resin on this. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay guys, I wanted to show you something. <clears throat> I put the Estoyo in my resin mixer. Don't know if you can see this, I don't want to tip it too much, but there are hardly any bubbles. Even when I poured it out of the container, I didn't have any bubbles, but I have just did it um, twice. I'm going to run it once more, just because I sprayed it with alcohol, or my blades with alcohol. <clears throat> I should have used their mixer, but I'm mixing up a large quantity, so... 
I wanted to make sure it was thoroughly mixed. But uh, then I'm going to spray this and then we're going to pour um, some in there. And then I thought what I would do is I would take these and put these in the center. This. And then I think I'm going to build around it. So that's my idea. Well, that looks pretty good. I'm going to let this drip onto my tray here. And I'm just going to use. this and I'm just going to go around the sides just to make sure so I can make sure that it's completely mixed since I'm not 100% familiar with their resin I know what I can do with with my resin I did notice when I was pouring this in that part A is quite a bit thicker than part B. Now running this thing around in here has caused quite a bit of bubbles. So I think I'm going to go run this through my vacuum chamber real quick for a round. Bring some of those to the top just because, you know, I want my tray to be, because I'm just using clear. I'm not using any colorant in this tray. So let me put you on pause. I'll run this through my vacuum chamber and I'll be right back. Okay. Perfect. Works great in the vacuum chamber. Just sure all my fences are covered. Okay, a little spritz, just to make sure. And I think I'll put a little resin on the back of these before I drop them in there just so that sure they don't trap any bubbles underneath there and then I can move them or I'll move them around a little bit how's that that should work better should push any of those out of there And I'm sure they're going to float. Press them down a little bit. Okay, that's going to be our start. All right, I've got the resin in there. I'm going to just lay a few of these and then I will go 
put you on pause and I will finish. So I don't remember I said I'm trying to make my video shorter. <laughs> Is it going to happen? I don't know. Well, I'm going to try. It's not in the center either, is it? I'm at least try to keep it in the center. Once you push them down, they pretty much stay. So we'll kind of try to make like a Mandela effect here. Don't know if that's going to work or not, but we'll sure give it a try. Now I've never made anything like this, so this will be my first try at this. I just had this thought because ever since I got all those hearts out that time I've been thinking about what can I do with those and this idea popped in my head phone but <clears throat> it kept uh, stopping and so anyway I just let it stop and I got all of it in there so now we just have to let it cure 
and I had some extra resin so I poured some other stuff so I'll come back when this is cured and we'll pull, pour on our next layer so we'll be back whenever it's uh, ready to pour the next layer okay we'll be back okay guys we're back we've got it's enough it's tacky enough that we can pour our next layer of resin and I've got that all mixed up and ready to go here so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some on here and hopefully my phone stays on I don't know I had an update on my phone yesterday and I think it set some of my settings back or something I don't know what happened but anyway I had to go in and fix some settings which is frustrating because when you're <laughs> trying to record a video and it just stops on you and you just don't know what you're doing and you can't fix it like right now now I've got a few hearts left and I can't decide if I want to just leave this as the top or if I want to go ahead and put more hearts on. I mean I don't have this many left but I do have quite a few left. Now remember, I'm using this mold that is not level, so I'm going to have to level it here, because otherwise it will run. But that's only when I do a top coat, so I'm not worried about it right at this very moment. covered got some bubbles under a few of those hearts I've noticed which I would not have a clue how to prevent that I mean because I pushed them down other than picking them up and laying them back down again but with all the problems with my silly phone I am going to spray this with alcohol before I lay anything down on top of this. Is that one covered? I just don't want any of them to be like sitting. I'm going to try to utilize some of these spaces is what I'm going to try to do. Guess I'm just going to go ahead and pour it all in here. We'll see. I mixed up 16 ounces the first time and this is another 16 ounces. This is a 13 inch mold so it always takes quite a bit of resin. So far guys I am not disappointed with this resin. This is Stoyo. Mixes well. It does not smell at all, which is always my worry because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I sniffle a lot um, because I have 
allergies, not to this, but I have allergies in general. I take three different kinds of allergy medicine, believe it or not. And so everything. Guys, I don't know what's going on with my phone, but I think I lost you through half of that. So I got to watch my phone here. So I got to move fast. Because I'm sure it's going to stop on me again. looking up there at it. I don't know what's going on with it, but I don't like it. If it goes off while I'm talking to you, I'm just going to go ahead and finish it and then I'll see you back when I need to put the final coat on it because I can't figure out what's wrong with it. So if it goes off, guys, I apologize. I don't know. I don't know what to do. just irritating because looking up there at my phone. It's on top of the heart. Hmm. Bummer. Let's see. I may not be able to put too many more on here, but I'll try. Still going, guys. I waste all my time looking at the stupid camera. Lots of blue ones. Let's see. whoop. Well, that wanted to go right there. So I'm just gonna put it like in between some of these. Hey y'all, welcome back. This is dry completely 
So we're going to take this out of the mold and then we're going to put a top coat on this and we'll see how much of a mess I can make. Hopefully it's level. I don't know. This mold is always giving me problems. Even though my table's level and it matches, you know, it's everything's level. I never ever when I top coat it, it always becomes a problem. So let me get my level out here. My level spot. Level. be just a tad higher on this side. Oops, maybe that side. This is what's always a pain, is trying to Perfectly level there. Perfectly level there. Perfectly level there. Okay. <laughs> so let's see if this works. All right. I'm just going to pour a little bit on and then we'll hopefully let me wipe this off real quick. to make sure we don't have anything on there. But I've got my sticks out just in case. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna pour in the middle and let it flow. Figured out my camera problem. figured it out it was uh, my memory was full even though it said that I could still record but it would only allow me to record a little bit at a time but guess what guys I just ordered a new camera because I'm tired of messing with this on my phone and so I have a new camera coming and we'll see. We'll just get rid of that all together. This is an old phone, so. And I don't want to go buy a new phone because I don't, I'm not Apple at all. I do not like Apple. Have never been an Apple person. So, I'm an Android girl, always have been. And I don't want to go buy a new phone. My phone's only two years old and I just don't want to go buy a new phone. So instead, I just bought a camera, a video camera, and we'll see how that works. All right, let's see if I put too much on here. It starts running somewhere. Keep an eye on it here. If this doesn't run, I will be shocked. This will be the first time. <laughs> so guys, I understand that my last video was not in frame and I apologize for that. I was not aware that I wasn't in frame. Um, 
That was not my intention. So I need to make watch that. But like I said, you guys have known I've had some issues with videoing anyway. So hopefully with this new camera, that'll take care of all of that. I'm trying to watch this too while I'm going to the edge because I don't want it to go over anywhere. I was trying to explain to you guys um, yesterday before my video cut off I have you guys hear me sniffle a lot and I was trying to explain to you that I have allergies not to this just just allergies in general and um, never had an issue with it until I got COVID and um, I'm on three different allergy medicines and it doesn't matter what it is, it triggers, triggers my nose to run no matter if I blow it or not, it still runs and makes me s sniffle. So and the, re the only reason I'm bringing this up is because I had someone on my channel bring it up and they were very upset about it, literally upset about it, said it was disgusting and I didn't realize I did that that much until they brought it to my attention. So I apologize if I am sniffling too much. Um, but I thought I owed you an explanation as to why I do that. It's not because I'm sick, it's because of my allergies. And it's just, I'm used to it because I've had it for so long. And there's nothing I can do to fix it. Like I said, I'm taking three different allergy medicines and it doesn't matter what I do. And it's thanks to that lovely COVID. That did it to me. Because I never had this problem until then. Okay guys, I think we got it. Nothing I don't think is running over, at least that I can see. Check it all the way around. Wow, this is a first guys. kind of scared to spray it with alcohol. <laughs> just lightly missed it. Just in case there's any bubbles. Alright guys, it's top coated. Woohoo! Alright, I'll come back to you whenever it's um, finished. I don't know if I want to put handles on it or not. Um, if I do, uh, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I just, I don't know what about, what I want to do about the handles yet. But I'll let you, 
if when I come back and the top coat's done and I have handles on it, then you know I decide to put handles on it. But if I didn't, I won't. So, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I'll come back to you when it's done and we'll take a look at it and see what we think it, if it looks good like that. All right, guys. All right, we'll see you then. Bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Guess what's done, finally. Ta-da! <laughs> I put handles on it, but some dust on it. Let me wipe it off here. It's actually turned out way better than I thought it would, but it's actually quite cool. You see all those hearts in there? I had to put a clear coat on the back, so when I did that, I decided to put some of the Marabou sparkly in there so you could kind of see it through on the back. So yeah, I really like it. It turned out really nice. Very unique kind of a thing. I was going to let you put it up here so you can see it a little closer. Very, very cool. Very clear. I have to say, I'm kind of, oh yeah, check this out. <laughs> Do you see that? That is not a heart. How that got in there, I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, that's okay. But yeah, it turned out really nice. I really like, I really like it. It's very unique. So, yeah, very nice. And, um, we got a little bonus because I had some extra resin after I got done. I made a frog. I mean a frog, a turtle. <laughs> so, I thought I'd, I left it, haven't unmolded it yet because I kind of wanted to unmold it with you. I don't know if I've ever made one of these on camera before but so I will unmold it with you all this is one of um, Julie cuts from pouring your heart out this is one of her molds um, get it out here I haven't done one of these in so long I almost forgot Ooh, his tail I want to break off his tail. It's been a while. But yeah, I had some extra resin left over, so I poured it in here. And for the shell of him, I used, Let's Resin has some new um, uh, chameleon flakes, and I got them for Christmas, and they're all in opals, and so I thought I would try those out, and so I put those on his shell. Isn't that cool? This one is the blue-green. And so then I used, for his body, or his fins and stuff, I used um, the green intense chameleon powder. And I just mixed it in the resin and just poured it on. But yeah, the cute little turtle. I love sea turtles. My dream someday is to go 
and see sea turtles be hatched and making their way out to the sea or the ocean, the ocean. So yeah, there you go. That's my little extra resin deal. Um, well, that's it for that project. That was a long project. Had to do lots of layers and everything. But uh, yeah, I got some spillage. Um, I don't know what's next. I haven't really come up with anything yet. So when I do, I will come back um, and start a video. I haven't decided yet what I want to do next. So I will see you on the next video. Thanks for coming in, guys. Bye.